Calvin again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Again, I'm your host, Todd Woodson. The goal of this podcast is to make soul music relevant again. We realize there are some great artists out there putting out some awesome music and yet don't get the attention or airplay they deserve. In our opinion, soul music is one of the greatest genres of music ever, and it's our goal to bring it back one band, one group, one singer at a time. Now let's get started. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Again, I'm your host, Todd Woodson. We are on location here in the Bay Area. I'm Where at, man? Come on. You're going to have to let me get it out, bro. Yeah, in the Bay Area. you have to let me get it out. In the Bay Area, I'm in Oakland. That's right. In Ca- Oakland, California with my cousin Malik Smith. Um, having a good time. My guest today is an artist who has an upcoming uh, album release party in my hometown of Vallejo, California. Oh, you from the V? From I'm the from v. the V. I didn't know that. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. How y'all doing? Her name is Blaze. Hello, hello. Blaze on the mic. What's up? There you go. Okay. What's up, girl? How, How you doing, Miss Blaze? I'm good. I'm good. Good. For those who don't know, Blaze, tell us about yourself. Let's get right into it. Oh, man. You know, old people, we be talking too much. So let me try to think of an abbreviated version. Uh, I'm, I am an uh, avid Bay Area artist. I was not born here, but definitely raised. Um, I claim Richmond first. That's where I grew up and went to school. I got to get love to my folks out there. there. But, you know, my second family and home is definitely Oakland and okay. the Bay Area as a whole. You know, we a melting pot here, so yes. it's all good. Yes. I don't do that turf shit. Nah, nah. We too grown for that anyway. Exactly, you know? exactly. You know, just doing my thing. Um, started as a as a writer. Didn't really even have an intention of being a performing artist. But, you know, the universe had other plans, so here I am. All right. So you said you're not originally from the Bay Area. Where are you from? Um, I was born in Ohio. Ohio, what part? Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland. From Cleveland. Ooh. So I got to fight with the fam about the Cavs and, you Whoa. know, the Warriors and all of that wow. stuff. Wow. Yeah. Well, we, we got y'all last time. Yeah, I know. I know. I get it every time. <laughs> Do you go back? Yeah, I, I went back uh, last year um, before my grandmother passed. Okay. Yeah, so, Sorry to hear that. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. But most of my fam is still out there, so. Definitely. Plan. Okay. So you're just not like a transplant that never goes back and don't. No, okay. no, no. And I, I will admit there has been some years in between visiting and going back, but you know, it's love. I keep in contact cause you know, that's just how it is sometimes. Okay. All right. All so right. how did you get started in the music? Um, was your family musical or? No, you know, I was one of those kids. I'm, I was a nerd, so I like to write all the time. So I was one of them kids with the pause and the record button on the tape deck. Right. And I was like, you know, uh, we can go back to uh, Africa Bombada and Tommy Boy. Ooh. And it would be like, they ain't like that. This just the flow style. I was like, they, they're, they're like, those like poems. They like writing, like how they do that. So I would just sit and write out people's rhymes in its entirety in my notebooks and just study how the words look. How that work? Like, I'm like you're a visual a person. I am very visual, and, right. and my hand muscle memory helps right. me a lot. So I was like, okay, okay. So that rhythm just kind of like jumped in there. You know, I've always been a poet, but I didn't know that I could mesh the two together and translate oh, it into be a an song. artist with this. So I was that kid. That's how I started. No one else in my family uh, that I've had uh, close uh, ties with is musically inclined. Okay. All so right. you were a poet, and you didn't know it. Poet and didn't know it, bro. Man, put that, that's a rhyme right there. Yeah. I should, I should. Poet and didn't oh, know that, it. I should <laughs> copyright that. Nah, nah, because I'm mad. Poet <laughs> didn't know it till I started to flow it. That's mine now. <laughs> that's that's mine. why you're yeah. the professional. Nah, nah. <laughs> it's good. So uh, we mentioned that you have an album release party coming up the 29th of November. Yes. In Vallejo. Is this your first release? No, this will be the first release for the second project. Um, there was a lot of stuff that uh, kind of just, you know, life happens in between from the first album to the second one. And when you're an independent artist, it's even that much more of a grind. Uh, it wasn't as simple as, yeah, somebody fronted yeah, me some it. dough and, and gave me some cash. And all I had to do was sit and write. No, I had a child to raise, you know, rent to pay, to pay. Yeah. And, you know, an actual career. I worked three jobs. You know, I got two degrees. It's like, what do you, you know, you living and trying to do life and be an artist. So this is the second uh, project. And um, it's the first release in a long time. When you know, was the first project? 
Oh, I'll give it. It's been at least 10 years. Oh, okay. It's been at least 10 years. But wow. in between that, what, though I, my, I haven't released a project in that long, from that point forward, I've been working with a live band, and we've done gigs with Yoshi's, the Redwoods, a lot of places where just performing and getting your chops out, you know, making sure you blow the dust off of that, even though I didn't have a project to put out yet. She's a Bay Area legend around here, man. Okay. You know, when you talk about Sundays in the Redwoods, that's one of the um, bigger – um, events that's been, you know, put on through the city of Oakland for the last, what, 15 years or so, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. And, and I think you've actually appeared on there probably a couple times. Twice. Right? We did right. 08 and 09. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so she's definitely uh, known in the Bay Area. You know. Okay. We try to get out there. We try. We nah, try. you've been doing it. And, and she make it seem like when she said ten years between projects, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> she's she still working. Nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you know it's just been ten years, you know. <laughs> yeah. She's staying busy. You Cause know? time be on crack, you know, it just goes so fast. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know, me and me and Blaze have a little bit of a history, so that's why I can speak to the fact that she's been she's been busy. You know, yeah, yeah. This is my dude. This is the first dude that tried to do the video with me. Oh, you <laughs> want to speak on that? No, blood, blood. It was so awkward. Right, let's hear let's it. Speak on it. Wait, you know he's out of be no, Romeo Casanova. He was on. like, you know, you want to kiss me. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I was so, like, dude, it's like sitting here with my brother, man. Put your lips, <laughs> put your lips over there, dude. And then the bird pooped on him. Oh, hey. no. <laughs> Hey, I said even can I tell my version? The you real version? Your version? Let me, tell, let me tell the real version. The real version. So, yeah. you know, she, she had a video shoot, you know what I mean? And we have a mutual friend and whatnot. And, you know, he was like, yeah, you know, won't you help her out on the video and whatnot? I'm like, all right, cool, no problem, you know what I mean? So it calls for, you know, a little intimate scene, you know what oh, I mean? God. So I said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that because, you know, I don't do that. You know what I mean? So I said, I'll go ahead and do that for you and give you your first on-screen kiss. You see, know what I mean? See, the, he think he give me my first something, <laughs> right? Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> we always think yeah. we're the first, right? Yeah. But for no, real. I said the first on-screen, first on-screen, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, you know, and then, like she said, you know, I got I got pooped on. He showed it. Uh, if yeah. you, that was it. It, it was a wrap be. after oh, that. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> I said, boy. Okay. Like, that's okay. Bird was like, y'all fam, get up out of here right. with that. You know, so yeah, we have a little bit it of It was history. fun, though. We had a good time. Okay. Yeah, so tell us about the, uh, the new release. Well, the new release is for an album called um, Definition of Hip Hop. And it, it's a concept we've been playing with for a while. But, you know, again, just trying to mesh all the right ideas and make make sure that gumbo flavor was right. So okay. for me, I mean, how do you, you definition of hip hop, what it is for me, like I was just sharing with you guys is, you know, it starts with whatever is that jump off point for yourself. You know, I can't define it for anybody else, but me, but if, if you have a chance to listen to some of the music, you can, you might be able to hear some of the influences um, I've had friends from the town be like, oh, we, we going to call you God. You know, you like that East Coast shit. I was like, I don't just like one particular coast of music. Right. If, it, if it speaks to me, then it speaks to me. I don't care where it's from. So you'll hear different um, type of influences from East Coast, West Coast, down South. But I'm a word person, so you'll definitely get that from me. And I like to make sure you can understand the words that are coming out of my <laughs> mouth. There you go. So that's just something that I like to do. No shade on nobody or nothing else. That's just my style. So who'd you work with on this album? On this album, we kind of took to the face because the first album I did a lot of work with. Um, we have an ind independent label, so there were a lot of other artists that we had, like Skolo, what's up, Sko? You know, uh, Show Pac, there you Sub, go. Realism, you know, um, Ruck, Fam, Cirque, oh, man, uh, Lloyd Rich did a lot of production. It's just adding all of those flavors of people. That gumbo. On the fit. Yeah. And this time it was, it was kind of like, it might've been the timing and just, I don't know, just kind of maybe in my head a little too much. Like I got to take it most of this to the face. Got to take it to the face. So there's not a lot of features. I, I don't even think I have any features when I think about it because I started to get more comfortable with doing both the, um, the lyrical and the vocalizing pieces of who I am as an artist. So. Okay, so you mentioned that um, this project is 10 years after Project mm -hmm. One. When did this project actually start, though? When did you start putting this one together? From the, from, from the day I was born. It's just a matter <laughs> wow. of timing. So it's a compilation That's of your life. Of, of period. I think every project, I, I'm going to answer that same way. Okay. It's meant to be, and the timing is just right. Okay, now why? You said the timing is right. Why now? Um, 
I guess um, without going into uh, too much detail, it speaks more to, I mean, everybody goes to personal stuff. You know, you got to prioritize uh, what's more important. Well, I can't do me as an artist if I can't take care of me on the everyday. So that that became something I had to make a focus uh, physically. And I, I, will, I will openly speak to the fact that I am a disabled artist. I don't care. Yes, anybody wants to know any details. R.A., you know, author. Y'all heard people say author. Me and author roll real tight. Mm-hmm. Author was trying to stop a nigga, but it wasn't going to happen. Okay. So after a couple of bounce, you know, with my boy, I was like, look, I'm going to do this artist thing, whether I'm crawling, limping, or skipping, or somebody got to push me up to that stage, we're going to get this done. Okay. So that's what took so long. Persistence. Dedication. That's what, uh, that's what I'm hearing. Yep. And it was, just, it, was just, it was just time. It, exactly. There you go. It was, it was just time. It was time. Let me ask you a question. So I know you for, I've been knowing you for quite a while now, and, you know, your, your main lane was hip-hop. Mm-hmm. And I know you can sing also. Mm-hmm. Okay, so did you did you uh, you know come with any R and B, um, so to speak, tracks on this thing? Well, that's the kind of funny part. I really focused on the um, hip hop side of it because I think the first album we kind of married those two a little bit, okay. kind of getting into it. But we are currently working on a neo soul project that separate from the hip hop one, so okay. we'll, we'll be releasing that. Shortly. And the only reason why I bring that up is because you're on bringing back soul music dot com. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, yeah. And, right and, I, right. and I know I know that uh, you're very talented in that in that area, you know, as well. I so, that. you know, we if if uh, if we if we have to, we're going to get you to actually put something together right here on this microphone. Uh, <coughs> I don't rap for free. Get her some tea. Uh, uh, we, I don't sing we, for we, free. Yeah, there we go. I don't we'll, sing for free. OK, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll it's figure, all, we'll, we'll I, actually, out. you know, I would encourage people to go to all the uh, media and download outlets and listen to the product so that we can go ahead and make sure people are checking out the music. That would be best. Well, actually, that's a great time to speak on it. Right. <laughs> so you want to speak to that? Where where can they find it? Sure. Um, so the album, if you're if you're a hip hop head and you just want to hear some flow, you can go to. Um, Definition of hip hop. It is located at. Okay, I'll yeah, that's all right. That's right, okay. It, that's um, okay. That's because it's all of the downloads. Yeah, see, I'll be like, you know, you should have brought your manager with you. So you know that, what? Yeah, so, so that so you wouldn't have to do all this <laughs> wait, thinking. Wait, wait, wait. If I brought my manager with me, I wouldn't be doing no talking. He like puffy in the video. <laughs> oh, you know, right. come on, dude. This all yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, no, um, you could find it. Uh, like you said earlier, I think you asked me about Spotify. Correct. iTunes. All the streaming um, networks. Or, All uh, the streaming, anywhere you can stream or download, download. the music. Yeah. Okay. So the second project is called uh, Definition of Hip Hop. And the first one is Bringing the Heat. So you'll see two um, that are currently available. Okay. All right. All right. I got my computer here, so I'm going to try to look you up on Spotify. Oh, look at you. All right. All right. Yeah. So, so yeah. So now that uh, now that we got that out and so forth and, you know, you... You're looking forward to this next, uh, this next. Well, we actually let's talk. Let's stick with this one now. Okay. Because uh, although although we're bringing back soul music, let's let's talk about the current project. And, okay. Uh, and then we'll get into, you know, the uh, the neo soul down the road and whatnot. Got so, it. Uh, with the uh, showcase, is, is that is that safe to say? Showcase your your um, on November 29th. Your what are we calling it? Oh, this is the release. It's the a release, release event. The release event. It will be a Blaze experience. So okay. we will take you through a creative uh, version of the first project and then wrap it up with the new project. Can I bring my mama? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Family, family? Oh, yes. I okay. mean, it's in, a, it's in a lounge, you know, but yeah, your mom is more than welcome to come, please. Okay. All right. Yeah, you know. So, I mean. Blaze is some time for the kids and, you know, and my respectful um, elder folks. I okay. won't be grabbing my crotch and cussing too much that night. I'll okay. say that for another one. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, it's, it's kid friendly sometimes? Yes. Yes. Uh, my daughters, my kids are worn, so they know. Keep it oh, 100. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want you to get raw up in here. No, you know. no, no. I'm be cool. I'm be cool. But yeah, no, please invite. If, you, if you're if you in Vallejo, you're able to check it out on the 29th, please. It is family friendly, and I think you will enjoy yourself. What are we looking to expect uh, from you? Are you going to be up there solo? Um, do you have a band with you? What is that? You know, what are we... Uh It'll be a little expecting? different. Um, it, I, won't, I will have uh, instruments backing me up. It's... 
I call it a more water. We will not. We will. Okay. We will. Oh yeah. Okay. So you know we'll have the significant pieces. You okay. know, some percussion and all that. It's it's almost a more organic version. So I know in the past we've done the full on band. It's it's big. It's boom boom. But we're kind of making it a little bit more intimate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I look forward because I'll be there. I got my ticket. Hey. You know. Um, actually, I got a few. Okay, you know, I don't. And you know, you know, I got that call in the middle of the night. You oh, you know got I mean? deboed. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You mm-hmm. know, I, um, I'm like, man. Uh, I say, I, I'm paying for tickets now. He said, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what we do. I said, okay. That's exactly yeah. what. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, when did I start paying for tickets? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. see, though, it's all love. Because, it's all love because I, I, you said something real, real key. It's like everybody that's fam and folks like, oh, I'm paying for. If don't nobody pay for tickets, we don't get paid. Exactly. We cannot prove we ticket worthy. You know, there's people respect things differently when you put a dollar sign oh, yeah. attached to it. Believe me, you we know, are, you, we I know you that. know. Oh, that's yeah. why I was like, I gotta speak to that real quick because yeah, yeah. I got those calls. And I'm too. and I'm giving you a hard time because you know, know. we gonna we gonna support the family. You know, all, what I mean? all day because again, it, it's and we me and Todd talked about this earlier. Um, you know, in, in terms of how the money needs to circulate in our community. Oh, you man. You know what I mean? And, we, and it's not enough of that. At all. You know, so. At all. So definitely, I encourage people to come on out, take, yeah. you know, take a look at Blaze and support this project, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do, uh, how do people get tickets? Oh, Eventbrite. Eventbrite, is that a website? Yes, Eventbrite. Um, most people, I, don't, I guess if they go out a lot, they can just use their phone app or eventbrite.com. Okay, mm-hmm. and how much are tickets? They are 15 in advance and 20 at the door. Okay. Are you guys taking them um, EBT or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> See, I was <almost> <laughs> You know, I don't hey, know. Man, you might be hey, able to slide. Hey. It's amazing where you can use EBT. Hey, I've that's seen, what I'm saying. Well, I saw a Kingston Yetta store, and it said we take EP, EBT. I was like, to get a dress? Yeah. Yeah. Blah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. a valid question, bro. Yeah. I don't know. You, hey, you can hey, try look, it. Nowadays, with this technology, you know what I mean? Man. Hey, nobody's left out. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's spending. It's For spending, real. You know? So, yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to that. Um, cool. So, appreciate we, that. Um, are you bringing up anything? No. no? Okay. So which one? Under, under in Spotify. Even bro, oh, you're in Spotify? Yeah. Or? Trying to find you in Spotify. The definition of hip hop. Put oh, the name put of the, the album. Definition. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I was looking at the artist. It's all good. Yeah. And I like to see people pull it up too. I'll be like, man, where am I? You you trying to make sure it's working, mm-hmm. huh? Yeah, well definition this is a cold hip- time to find out if man, it's working. Yeah, right. <laughs> definition of yeah. hip hop. No, that's a compilation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. You, you know, better I, you better you know, call look. Oh, no, no. You better call your web dude. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell him, look there. Some something went wrong. Mm-hmm. I ain't got no web dude. You know, we pay we pay for this type <laughs> of uh you pay for this access. Look, everything. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. play no games. Like, you know, she didn't got real serious on this time. Man, for but real. Now that we can't find her, huh? Yeah. Hey, did you try iTunes as well? <laughs> Not yet. No, let's go to iTunes. Yeah, let's. Like oh, my, that's oh, okay. my money your shot. Go, your right go, your go look, to? Look, my go to my money shot. Yeah, iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I ain't even going to front. Uh, I don't listen to Spotify that much. But um, I know my sister and, you know, a lot of my folks do. So I was like, oh, okay. It's good. It's good. Hey, right, so check this out. What's that? Pandora. Oh yeah. Let's let's uh if we can, can we uh can we get you you know to put something together for you know bringing back soul music. Uh, dot like, com. Like what? You know just you know want something you know something from your uh from your catalog you know on R and B tip. That exclusive. Oh, that exclusive. Uh, so basically, you want a couple of bars or some acapella. I mean, it could, acapella yeah, yeah, bars, yeah you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you an artist. That's like asking a mechanic, you know what I mean? No, you know, I I used to tell my family this all the time. I was like, you know, as soon as you say you're an artist, all of a sudden you become people's puppet monkey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a no for me. But uh, (laughs) I got you, though. (laughs) Come on, this ain't just, hey, we just not on on the corner talking about, won't you sing something for me? Won't you bust something like that real quick? Yeah, no, no, no. No, it's all good. I got you, I got you. But right now, I want to make sure you can pull up my stuff on this internet. That's what's bugging me right now. So in the meantime, while we're trying to Why find trying that, to we're about to we're about to run into uh, one of Blaze's new songs. You wanna um, you wanna lead into your first single off the new album? Oh yes, never give up. Um, this is production by 
little brother, little double licious from the Full House family production team. This is Never Give Up. But it just ain't no use giving up. Never give in, never give it a rest. Give what you want to receive, I guarantee on the best. Giving up nothing, take this life and run it. Keep pushing till the cookies, crushing anything coming. Giving up nothing, take this life and run it. Keep it pushing till the cookies, crushing anything coming. Gotta take it to make it till in position to flex. You never give in, never give it a rest. I've been told that you can be the fail with only a try. So while we standing here talking, let's get ready to fly. It's taking too many times, creating too many wives. Equaling nothing but a reason to make too many cry. Well, flail, ready to give it up. Can bow out now, cat, you barely feel the cup. Half full, half not, halfway's just not. Gonna be enough to fill your belly past the pot. Cause see, it ain't just you. Like it ain't just me It's like a silent cope of struggle of striving to be So let's reach out and grab Like we clutch it for life And it's your last chance to reach So it's gotta be right Like you've been watching it grow And now it's ready to pluck A fire in your soul is boiling And it's time to erupt Prepare to slap box for life Soon as it steps in the ring Don't let up until the rest screams And the bell rings No give it, never give in Never give it a rest Give what you wanna receive I guarantee on the best Give it up nothing Take this life and run it Keep pushing till the cookies crushing anything coming. Giving up nothing, take this life and run it. Keep it pushing till the cookies crushing anything coming. Gotta take it to make it till in position to flex. You never give in, never give them a rest. Uh, you gave it all for your dreams, never enough. Like being last in session after everyone puffed. Past, nothing but burnt remains. It's all right, inhale, breathe new life and watch the dream real life. Just climb till you can't, then crawl till you fall. If you can't get over, then burrow under the wall. All quitters get in the end, it's a sigh and a grunt. And disappointed stares like you just fumbled the punch. But no one who's reached the plateau of the greats made it to that status without slashes and scrapes. Embarrassing wipeouts and epic falls. Comforts a no brainer when it's boss to the wall. Knees to the concrete, forehead to the ground. Fist up to the sky and give your maker the pass. So fear not, we're we'll scrapping for your dreams, puff your chest. You want it bad enough, the universe. Versus do the rest, not give it, never give in, never give it a rest. Give what you want to receive, I guarantee on the best. Giving up nothing, take this life and run it. Keep pushing till the cookies crushing anything coming. Giving up nothing, take this life and run it. Keep it pushing till the cookies crushing anything coming. Gotta take it to make it till in position to flex. You never give in, never give it a rest. Truth be told, sometimes you gotta learn to give it up. Stand up and hold the rail, no sitting on the struggle bus. You need to stay alert and make sure not to miss your stop. If the ride is rough, ring the bell, jump off and walk. Ain't never been no shame in doing things the longer way. Dreams are relative, fuck time, move at your own pace. The hardest lesson is in tune and not opposing pressure. Life will implode your game and kill you only if you let her. So strap up your vest, lace up your boots and keep your drawers tight. Don't make it easy, cause trying to get this ass will be a fight. You can stand the phone, swing the duck, but go for yours. Don't wait to be invited, smash the any locking doors. Who asked permission? To blow up to the top You think Blaze gon' ask for okays to make it hot No fire never starts without a spark I'm saying giving up's never an option So let's stop playing and get it Never give in, never give it a rest Get what you wanna receive, I guarantee on the best Giving up nothing, take this life and run it Keep pushing till the cookies crushing anything coming Giving up nothing, take this life and run it Keep it pushing till the cookies crushing anything coming Gotta take it to make it till in position to flex you never give in, never give it a rest. We'll continue our episode after this message. Shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com Now, back to our conversation. We back. All right. Yeah, that's a great song, Glaze. Right on. Man. Now, let me ask you. Uh, I'm a nice R&B soul person. Uh-oh. I thought I sensed a little little Donny Hathaway in there or oh, he, someone. You got a lot of Donny Hathaway in there. Ah, I, mean, I know I'm no. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not crazy. My my uh, music roots, as far as what I like to listen to, definitely is a lot of like Donny Hathaway's, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, you know those great male vocals that just kind of stick to your ribs. You know, okay. Donnie Hathaway, a lot of people say he's a, 
he's kind of a sad, he was sad and very melancholy and all of that. I'm like, nah, he just dealt with, you know, those real feelings uh, in a way that a lot of us don't. And he was very eloquent with it. I wish people like him was still around. Oh, still around, yeah. yeah. We don't yeah. have too much of no, anything like that. that. No more. Them you know? du- duets he did with the Roberta Flack are, are classic. Man, just make your heart jump out your chest. And like he has that. the Christmas anthem Man, in the black community. Man, I mean, that's the only Christmas Everybody do it. <laughs> Hey, and it's about to start jumping off now. We we, we in November, so we're going to start hearing it. Yeah. You know exactly. I mean? We see the Christmas lights and everything else, right. so we're about to jump off. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You talked about the men. What about the female um, R&B artists, uh, you know, that just kind of moved you? Or was there anyone that you just said, you know what, you know, because me, I'm... Well, yeah, uh, shock, shock kind. Oh, come on, man. I, yeah, I would, yeah. I wouldn't even consider myself an artist if I couldn't pay homage and love her vocals. Ooh, I mean, man. definitely. Uh, my, my experience with female and male vocals, just music period goes to, I don't know how many people can relate. Saturday mornings used to be get up, you clean, clean up the, the house, house. and on. you play records. Exactly. And my auntie, I spent a lot of time with my aunt because my moms and my grandmother always worked a lot, but my auntie, she she still to this day doesn't have any children. So us, her nieces and nephews, we was her kids. We had one of them big old coffin uh, stereos. Come on. Where you play the four, the, and the 45s, on. the big the big records, and you could still put the 8-tracks in the Come thing. On. And it looked like a, a piece of furniture. Ch- Man. Furniture. Heavy. Every, so guess what we bumped? We bumped Whitney Houston. We made steps. Remember when we used to make steps? Uh, we're going to make a step, and we're going to sing. So Whitney built it out of that thing every Saturday. Whitney, uh, Stevie Wonder, and... Um, Michael Jackson and oh, Prince. There you go. Those oh. was like the four go-tos. And my aunt, she could sing, but she never tried to do it like for real, for real. But we had fun. Just we, f- you would have swore we was going on Star Search. Because and she yes, had you I'm cleaning old, at Star the same time. <laughs> she had you cleaning. Get cleaning it, cleaning and, and singing. singing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fun. Yeah, you know. So those yeah. a good times. There's some. There's there's a lot of wonderful uh, female and male vocals, but maybe it's just me. It's something about hearing a man sing a mm-hmm. certain way for mm-hmm. as a woman, you know, like, damn. You know what? Give me some tea. Let me, <laughs> give me some tea. You, you know, know, those emotions are trans, you know, men translate those emotions that they want in regular conversation when they're an artist and they sing or play an instrument. And you can hear that if you're paying attention. Wow. So okay. That's so what I like. That's, uh, that's spoken from a true artist, you know. I, uh, I just know it's spoken from a true me. So <laughs> that's what it is, yeah. you know. But yeah, yeah. Did you sample any other artists on the other songs on the album? Um, Male artists? Not so much. Um, I used, um, I have another producer on the album. He kind of dominated the rest of the album. Uh, no, but that's a, it's a good thing. You know, I like working with good people. What's up, P? Uh, he likes to sample as well, but he's also really good, just like Lil Dub, of coming up with their own original music. Okay. So I try not to lean too heavy on sampling. You know, you really want to highlight other folks and fam that contribute to your projects because, you know, somebody somebody one day will be sampling their stuff. So, no, not too many samples. Mm-hmm. No. So who actually who actually produced that single? That one is produced by Lil Dub. Okay, that was Lil, Lil Dub. Dub. Lil Dub then, got that for me. And then... Uh, the other artist or the other producer is who? Poetic. Okay, Poetic, Poetic Beats. Yeah. Okay. So those are the two producers that on uh, this project yes. that you primarily worked with? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Man. Well, I mean, the project sounds like it's going to be... Man, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I couldn't ask for anything more. So it turned out hit. the way you wanted it to turn yeah. out? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Blaze, we don't want to keep you. It's all good. I appreciate you. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't let her get away, Oh, he's oh, he trying to get he some free bars. Tea. Bring her, wait, bring wait, her wait. some tea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Bring you know, I'm, I'm finna sing something that, I, it ain't even mine, but me and my daughter was playing with this idea. I'm gonna let y'all have this real quick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, but you notice every time somebody's an artist, they, you know, they need some tea. You know? Right, right. <laughs> Actually, this tea is good for digestion. It's ginger. This <laughs> ain't, like, you know, it, the cold uh, weather in your throat. Uh, <laughs> No, okay, so I don't know. Um, I'm a little sick. I like horror, right? So y'all watch that uh, American Horror Story series? No, I don't watch that. Okay, I like stuff getting chopped up with a good storyline. Yeah, that's me. I don't do nothing. I don't even get on no 
what you call what? it, Great America? You know those. those the real, the real, I don't even get on. Uh, I watch horror portions. like 3 a.m. I, I have to go to sleep to something horror in the background. That's just me. Always been. It's my mama's fault. Okay. So, but there's this creepy song that they used to play, and it's by this little. Uh, it's two white girls named Patience and Prudence. Yeah, and it's it's called uh, mm. "You Belong to Me," and it's hella cheesy and weird. But me and my daughter was like, "Well, let's play with this." I was like, "You could sew this up." So, um, let me your see daughter can sing. My daughter can actually play seven instruments and is wow. doing production wow. right now. And she can hold a, she can hold a note when she ain't acting too scary. I'm trying to work on that with wow. her. Wow. Yeah. So, um. Oh, how'd it go? Oh. Okay, so here we yeah. go, y'all. This is exclusive. Blaze. Exclusive. I, Blaze exclusive. And, and this ain't mine. This ain't mine. I'm just playing around. <laughs> uh, I know that you belong to someone new, but tonight you belong to me and I know by the dawn you will be gone but right now tonight you belong to me bravo something I'm working on in my head so it's a little rough but cut it out no, I'm that was nice. Thank you. That Thank was you. nice. Thank you. I can't wait for the RBI. Album to come out. <laughs> Me neither. I'm excited <laughs> about that too. Yeah, so I'll be back to, for let's that. Let's get to that. Let's yeah. get to that. Let's get that. Let's get okay. that going. So you yes, know, you yeah. gotta, you gotta project it. Uh, date, time, sometime. You know, we're going into the new year, and I know I you. Know. I know you. I know. I know you're concentrated on this current project. Yes. You know, but at the same time, you know, you're busy. You're a busy young lady. And uh, I'm sure you could handle two projects nowadays. Oh, man. Nowadays, you know, people <laughs> you people put look, like, people putting out double albums. So you know, come I on, wanted man. to do it like that, but you know, um, for to be honest, the R and B neo soul project is pretty much eighty percent done. Okay, mm. just need a couple more tracks. You know, write a couple more songs to round it out. But it's it's ready. Okay, it's ready. Ho- hopefully, God willing, first quarter, it'll be ready. All right, Blaze, we appreciate you. Um, but before we uh, get out of here, is there anything else you want to add before we close out the show? Uh, I don't want to have to take the one off of your back, but I'd like to know where I can get one of them T-shirts. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com. That's all right. I'm going to go ahead and support. I'm going to get you one. Don't uh, even worry about please, it. I'm going to get you one. Please, please do. <laughs> all right. You know, I, I, I always feel like you gotta you gotta be grateful, and I I, I can't steal uh, Russell Simmons' line. You know, thank y'all for coming out. God bless and good night. But I, I definitely <laughs> want to make sure I, I you know just sending all the love and uh, appreciation to those who have helped me get to where we are today. And I say we because it's not me by myself. And I just want to put that out there in the universe. And thank you. All right, fantastic. That's Blaze. She has an album release party on November 29th in Vallejo, California, my hometown. At the Empress Theater on Virginia Street, tickets are fifteen dollars at the door. I mean, in advance, and twenty at the door. All right, and they can get them. I'm sorry, where again, Blaze? Eventbrite.com. Eventbrite.com. So if you're in the Bay Area, please come out and support Blaze. Please. Fantastic artist. Thank you for thank coming you out. for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Bringing right. back soulmusic.com. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Come join us in our mission. Join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Check out our website, bringbacksoulmusic.com, for the latest news about your favorite artists. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Blaze. Don't forget about Blaze's album release party November 29th in Vallejo, California. And she drops her new album, Definition of Hip Hop. Please go out and support this independent artist. I'd also like to thank my co-host for the last couple of episodes, Malik Smith. You'll be hearing more about Malik when he drops his podcast coming soon. 
Don't forget to connect with us on social media. You can also listen to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast on Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Spotify. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Join me next week with my guest will be artist Jay King. You might remember Jay from the band Club Nouveau. He'll be here talking about his long career in music, but that's next week. Taking us home this week is Blaze in the title track of her new CD, Definition of Hip Hop. This is the Definition of Hip Hop. Thank you for joining us this week. My name is Todd Woodson. I'll see you next week. You always hear in the trunk Don't let skid marks underneath your feet It's graffiti artwork you see on the streets And if you look close enough even in daytime clothes It's the indiscreet pimps keeping the eye on they hoes It was in the pen I used to write each rhyme Between classes, hallway passes, lunchtime The ends are hot in Brisbane, El Salvador, California Had the slightest idea this performer was a performer at heart Now the spark has broke out into a blaze Never knew I had it in me Now the days are filled with questions Of how I came to rock The why, the who, where, when And what is hip-hop, hip-hop, hip-hop Started black, it's an undeniable fact. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's worldwide, nobody knew exactly how it happened. Cats in Asian countries and Africa is rapping. It's a beautiful thing to see it look like this. One star, a popular fad. Now it's the shit that makes it possible for heads, no matter background. Bob their heads together in unison to the sounds of hip hop. You rockin' air flight high top. All the coolest pair of bands flipped from the first shot. When they said hip hop, don't stop, it did. We worked it into everyday things to do the living. This bit about bloodshed and who got pop. Overflow about a brand new this in a drop. I ain't mad. That's the life of someone else, it's not mine. But together we put it down in the book to define hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Songwriter, lyrical hang glider, poet, artiste, and comedic in my spare time. I'm a tomboy demanding your attentiveness as I squeeze out bets through sweat from this flesh. Feel my soul and unfold all that the mic and went hold. Invoke the spirit of the cleanest MC. I want to troll like Janet when she made it clear she wasn't going to have it. Break wild, do what I want to, would never create a habit that's all mine under the umbrella from the weather. Mr. Strew, I did some hip hop bound together. The countless PhDs in this industry who pass me by like I was on the far side. Like, who was she? Want to be MC like? Maybe they right I know for sure when I heard cha-cha-cha I was like, damn, I'm gonna be one in set the mode too No matter what it is, do what you do Be true to you with that Hip-hop, 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 hip-hop Thank you.